Okay, in this video, I will show you how to set up uh, and configure Bricky key in the host PC. Uh, first of all, we have to create a user authentication in the SIP server. Then, we set up a PBX user extension in PBX server. And the last one to set up an XLite numbers in both of the host PC and the guest operating and in the guest OS. Alright, so let me show you how to create a user authentication. You need to go here. Okay, you you have to log into the Brikiki uh, server. Uh, the username and password is SA and SA. SA is stand for system administrator. How you set up the user authentication account? First, you have to go to the SIP server and then go to user authentication. You click new user, create two accounts, 100 and 101. Okay, and the password is password. I just created another one, another extension called 103. But for the purpose of the for the purpose of uh, doing lab, uh, you may just do the 100 extension and the 101. The password is password. After you finish creating a user account in the SIP server, you see the SIP server, then the next thing is you create a PBX extension here. You go to PBX extension, you create new users. Also here you need to create two extension, 100 and 101. The password have to be the same as the one that you put in the SIP server when you created the accounts in the SIP server. Otherwise, your clients will not be able to authenticate it. So these are the two crucial points. You create an extension. You create an extension in the PBX and then you create a user authentication in the SIP server. All right. As you can see in the next uh, step that we need to do is to set up a next slide phone numbers how you do that okay first of all you need to go to uh, cell phone and account setting notice that i put 100 extension and the domain is 192.168.1.103 this is the brikiki server ip address which i put it in the host how do i verify that I can go here, let me see, I can go to command and then IP config. Notice that here is my SIP server here, Ethernet Lubeck, which is I use this as a, uh, I use this and I, I use this IP address to host the Brikiki server, 192.168.1.103. Okay, uh, so I want to ping this one. I want to ping my guest operating system. My guest operating system is 101. So I'm going to ping 192.168.1.101. All right. Let me see. All right. Destination unreachable. Okay, so I need to find out here. All right. Here I need to ping to... All right, let me see here. Ping 103. Okay, I can ping to 103. But here, I cannot ping to 101. So, I need to find out here what happened here. Okay. One, one other thing that I can think of. Okay, now I get that. You see that? All right, if I ping... 101, all right, I get a reply address. This is how I know that my host PC can communicate with the guest operating system and vice versa. You need to do this, otherwise your phone will not be able to register, all right? So after you successfully install this, uh, put the user ID and the domain name, which is the IP address of the Brikiki server. The password is password which is the same that you created initially in the PBX and the SIP server. And then you click OK. As soon as you click OK, notice that the X-Lite going to give you 
uh, a status which is a 100 extension and the status is available. How we verify that? We can verify that in the BrickyKey server here. Look at it. In the BrickyKey, you go to user authentication. Look at this. If I click that, uh, where is it? Register client. I'm sorry. I go to SIP server, go to register client. Notice that the 100 extension is already registered with this IP address. Okay? All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is to to create an account to, to set up the, the cell phone for my guest operating system here. Account setting, I'm going to do the same thing. The user ID is 101. The domain, you put the IP address of the Bricky key, uh, the IP address of the Bricky key server, which is 192.168.1.103. The password is password. The display name, you put 101, and the authorization is 101, and then you click OK. okay. As soon as you click OK, it will show you XLite 101 extension, and the status is available. Well, we need to verify that to make sure that it registered. If you go to SIP to BrickyKey server, and then go to register client, again, you will see 101. So now, as, as of this point, you see that the 100 extension and the 101 extension are registered. The next thing we need to make a phone call. I'm going to make from 100 to 101. And then I click. Bala. Okay, so the call is successful. I'm going to close this. And then now I'm going to go from 101 to 100. So I'm going to click 100. Okay. I'm going to call them. Blah, blah. Now everything is ready. All right. So make sure you get a screenshot of this. Make sure you uh, get a screenshot of uh, this lab and send it to the instructor via Blackboard. Remember, uh, at the end of this lab, you need to, at the end of this lab, uh, let me see here. At the end of the lab, at the end, you need to write a brief summary of your experience in in setting up Bricky Key uh, in your computer and get a few screenshots. Submit it through Blackboard under Labs thread located on the left hand side. You can write a uh, minimum about half uh, double space, uh, half pages, or maybe you can write uh, one page summary of your experience. Dub one double speed summary of your experience in creating these things. All right, I want to give you some additional help here, some some advice. You can go some some tips. Okay, I would suggest you go to this website called brickykey.com. Okay, I want you to go to support and download this quick start guide. Okay, what I just showed to you in the video. I use this PBX uh, Brickiki PBX version 3 quick start guide. Okay, the concept that I just showed to you, I obtained it from here. Later on, uh, in the next few weeks, in the couple of, well, in the next videos, I'm going to show you how to set up a voice over IP solution uh, into, uh, by integrating, uh, by uh, incorporated networking skills such as uh, routing protocols or SPF or maybe DHCP server or DNS server. Okay, at this moment, I just want you to understand uh, a brief introduction of this uh, PBX solution. All right, so I just want to recap how to do all of this. Make sure you have all the requirements. You have the virtual box, Windows 7, BrickyKey, uh, VoIP application and XLite cell phone. Make sure you put, make sure you assign a static IP to both. Make sure that you assign static IPs to both of the host PC and the guest OS. For example, 192.168.1.103 for the host PC. And in my case, in this video, I put 101. I just put uh, 192.168.101. Okay. Uh, what else here? The method uh, here you have to download and install VirtualBox, including extension pack, 
install Windows 7 Professional as guest operating system in VirtualBox. Make sure you contact your lab assistant, Mr. Esteban Cedillo or Mario at 8726476 for a copy of the CDs. Uh, you download and install Brikiki and then you the last step you need to download install xlite in both host pc and the guest operating system setting up brikiki uh, is straightforward you just need to create a user authentication in the zip server you need to set up pbx user extension in the pbx server and then you set up xlite numbers uh, don't forget to do some testing by pinging okay you need to ping from the host pc to from the host PC to the guest OS and then from the host to the guest OS. For example, here I ping from my guest OS to the server to the main one to the host PC and the ping is successful. Here on the left hand side, I ping to 101 which is my guest operating system IP address. Blah, blah. All right. So hopefully this video is informative and beneficial to you. I would suggest that you need uh, to review this video several times and let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you.